So hi everybody, you're very welcome back to Law Hero. My name is Jen and I make videos about the law. And because over the last while I've been coaching a lot of people for internship, um, which is coming up in summer 2023, a lot of the time internship can turn into a traineeship. It's like a backdoor into traineeship. Apologies, I'm sucky here, it's been very needy. It can turn into a backdoor. And I just wanted to go down through some of the things you might have thought of. So when I, usually when I coach people, the first thing they do is they tell me, you know, I say, tell me about yourself. And they tell me about their road to law or, you know, they did the FE1s or, you know, that they studied law or something like that. And I get very bored because I know they're not going to mess up in that it's like a rehearsed and they've, you know, they've thought about it what they're going to say and I just switch off and I would imagine that other um, employers would do the same. So the question is how do you make yourself stand out? How do you become memorable? And this usually comes from having a kind of you know personality about you, something memorable, something that's not just I studied law and now I'm here to get an internship. That's actually what makes the difference. So usually when it comes to an interview for an internship, it is not expected that you have any competence. It is expected that you drafted a CV, cover letter, whatever, did an online um, assessment or online um, application and that that was sound, as in there was no grave spelling errors, grammar, you know, it flowed. It's good enough for you to be called to interview. And then in the interview, what's important is that your personality comes across and how interviewers glean your personality from you is through open-ended questions and it's up to you as well in a way to steer the direction of the interview and you do this by having your keywords in your mind and when I was younger I used to do this because I knew it was important to be memorable because we're basically all the same when we come out of undergraduate so some of the things I would try and impress upon uh, the interviewer was that I was fluent in German, that I had lived in Germany for a number of years, that I had studied finance, that I was a big swimmer, those kind of things, because those were the things I would be remembered by, not the fact that I did the FE1 or not the fact that I studied law. Those aren't important. Would be, if that's the part that's all about you, the next part is all about the law firm. If you haven't rigorously done your homework around the law firm and its USP or its unique selling point and its place in the Irish legal marketplace, you do not have a chance at all of getting an internship. The commercial awareness level that's required of an intern, and an intern is somebody who usually has no legal experience and is just coming in to learn on the job, the, the basic commercial awareness that's required is that they know what the law firm is they're applying to, who the law firm's clients are, who they sell to, you know, what's their position in the marketplace, are they top tier, middle tier, lower tier, what are the practice areas they thrive in, and then what you're trying to do is show how you match the profile of the law firm. So literally in four minutes, that is how you get through an internship interview.